segment today on this stream. So this could take a while. Yeah, I promise we will have a game of darts. 25. I've talked about there's been a magnet in this 25. 25. I can assure you, it was in jest. There will be some stat out there who knows what the record is for number of darts thrown at the bull Bullseye. before a game has commenced. Steve Lennon hits the bull. I think we know what's coming. 25, Steve's won the bull. So it's Steve Lennon with the darts. He'll be feeling very, very good about himself. And in Players' Championships 3 last year, he hit a 170. 97. So he'll be looking for something similar, but he'll be in a real good position right now, Steve. He started this year absolutely fantastically well. And Chizzy has been through an absolute cracker 61. of a game in his first round. And he got through it against Mensa Sulovic, which went the full distance. And sometimes, Dan, when that happens, maybe you think, maybe the God's on my side for today. Maybe I can go on and have a big, big <laughs> run. Absolutely. I mean, particularly when you consider that of the unseeded players, Mensa Suljevic, one of the tougher draws, a player who plays at a slower 95. pace, a, a granite-type player. So Chisnell has managed to come through that. I think there will be some very heavy artillery in this game. Chisnell, yes, one of, if not the biggest maximum hitter on the planet, a player who has such an unorthodox way of throwing darts, but it's so, so effective that there's three different follow-throughs every time he throws. 104. Don't quite get a 180 there. Steve Lennon, on the other hand, has a really smooth throwing action. It's very straight. It's rare that he, he strays into the, the five or, or the one bed. So a tough contest, this, for, for Chizzy. Yeah, Steve, who beat Josh Rock last week. Just sort of shows watching Josh Rock yeah, earlier, Dan. My God, he played absolutely phenomenal. When you talk about floaters, getting Gary Anderson first round, it was a game that will live in my memory, that's for sure. 134. He's, he's disgustingly talented, is how I'd describe Josh Rock. I used the word disgust. I said, I'm allowed to use the word disgust, and it was that good as Chizzy looks at 124 and double 11 for the first leg. 102. And the finishing on this stream has been brilliant. Now, 72 is a type of finish. That will be left an awful lot. And a lot of players are now going the treble 16, double 12 route. That's a good marker. He doesn't need to move. And what a dart that is. And he simply used the barrel of the second dart. And when you're full of confidence like Steve Lennon is right now, all of a sudden that double will open up. We've got a match on here. Absolutely. Steve oh, Lennon enjoyed a, a good weekend in Barnsley last week. Beat Kevin Dirts in round one before going down to... Simon Whitlock in round two. That was Players' oh, no. Championship one. He got to the last 16 of Players' Championship two, defeating Jeffrey Dezwan, Josh Rock, as mentioned, and Christoph Ratajski. So that's a, a tough draw for uh, Lennon before ultimately going down to the ton averaging Callan Rids in the last 16. People will always look at sort of protecting know. the money and just sort of looking at Players' Championship three last week. Joe Mernon reached the quarter final, Connor Scott and Keane Barry. All of them have lost early doors today, so we'll be losing pounds and points on their uh, Pro Tour rankings. Well, I've just been doing Jeff Smith v Joe Mernon, and I made the point that Mernon, one of the very few players who ended the year inside the top 64 that didn't go to Ali Pali. Steve Lennon's another one of them, so that's probably the, the minimum aim for him this season. Make sure he gets back there and, and qualifies for things like Minehead as well. He has dropped down the rankings in the last couple of years, Steve Nine Lennon. Six. But he's made a good start here, and he's on the front foot in this leg with Dave Chisnell on throw. And I'll tell you who else has made a good well, start. Luke three. Humphreys is up and flying, another 100-plus average. Jermaine Watamina continues his fantastic form with his Euro Tours. And that's unlucky there. We'll continue looking at the results Nine in six. a second as Chizzy looks at this 53. Like I said, people talk about this follow-through, but every time he lets go of that dart, it's the same. It's what Beautiful. happens afterwards is where people think his arms are flailing all over. Very good contest we've got here, and it's 1-1 right now. Nathan Aspinall flew through a 6-0 victory in his last 64. 100. Martin Schindler, 100 average, wasn't good enough against his compatriot Pikachu. 
in sixth four. And Kevin Dutes, a surprise winner over his good friend Jose de Souza with a hundred average. And Jeffrey Sparadans, who hadn't won a game going into today, is now into the last 32. Good few minutes for Welsh Darts fans as well. Gavin Price and Johnny Clayton both advancing through. Price defeating Proto debutant James Hurrell. Johnny Clayton getting the better of Mario Van der Bahada. I tell you, he's playing very well this year. Ross Montgomery. Ross Montgomery and Steve Lennon are the two for me that have really. 100. Did I have concerns about what's going 2023 was until? Yes, I did. And both of them are playing really well. Right now, Ross Montgomery is 5 5 with Ross Smith to get into the last 32. 30. So I'll keep an eye on that one. And Matt Campbell started well against Bradley Brooks. And it was he got a nine data this time last year. Steve Lennon choosing not to go for the 1 6 1. He didn't need to with. Chizzy all the way back on 246. 83. And Lennon's got six darts here. You would fancy him to take 24. He's hit it once already. Yeah, and sure. I think that was exactly at the same spot. He's hit again. Pretty much the same puncture mark. And look at that follow. So look at that finger pointing to the double 12 afterwards. That's when you know Steve Lennon is playing very well. Good pace to this game. 134. This has all the ingredients once again to be a fantastic match. And you just got this feeling it's going to go all the way. But as Dan alluded to, what a silky smooth throw. And all of a sudden, when you hear the noise of that dart and it's landing how you want it to land, it feels really good. And the players will be feeling good now. Once they get that first game underway, that's when you see the best of them. And right now we're seeing best of both players. Yeah, both players will have been here since this morning they'll have been going through their practice routines as you mentioned glenn they've got the first round victories behind them so really are into the swing of things now i think i maybe give the kiss of death to ross montgomery but despite a 94 average he just fell short against ross smith so it's just beginning to look really exciting Gerwin price with that massive 104 average again james hurrell who took the invite for today we won't be seeing james hurrell tomorrow but chizzy he's really happy the way he played chizzy needs 50 by the way 10 for tops 40. and he's quite away inside so steve lennon 85 is the target for him one of those awkward mid 80s checkouts where he could have to use the bull double five instead 75 north of the target chizzy needs the same it's a couple of options here but he likes that part of the board the double five so i don't think there'll be any two double fours but he's just taking his time and that's the only concern he's very aggressive with that and i think he thought a three double one but one double two is the route six and maybe he might have thought he should have gone three double one in the end well, will Steve Lennon be just as aggressive as Chizzy? Pretty much the same position. Can he pin double two? Yeah, yes, he, he can. And Steve Lennon with the break to go 3-1 up, averaging 94 right now to Chisnell's 92. It's very solid and steady from both players. Once again, as Dan alludes to, they're 94 average tonight, so there's nothing in this game 59. apart from the fact that one double two hits the wire and one double two goes in. That's the kind of margins that you're playing with in these players' championships with the best 128 players in the world. 23. It's absolute, it's all about levels right now, and there's not an awful lot between these two. Yeah, the margin for error in these tournaments is 60. pretty much nil. Steve Lennon only manages 60. Joe Cullen, who won it last year, is struggling a little bit against Scott Waits, his fellow Yorkshireman. It's 4 2 to Waits in that game. Callan Rids, who was feeling really good about his game, I seen earlier on. He's just taken a 5 4 lead against Jan van Veen. Forty-six. It's Lennon. He's got the darts here on 246, and he'll love that first dart because that is begging for a max. But he'll take the two treble visit to leave 106 with Chizzy. We're back on 275, so you might see Chizzy use the bullseye on the last dart. 104. So he set it up nicely, but 
on 106. This is a type of finish. It's just the one treble that you need. And there's the treble. So he's guaranteed himself a dart, a double, and that double is double 16. Four. That's an effort. Which is he back on 170? <clears throat> Oh, the big fish for Dave Chisnell is not going to go. Steve Lennon with a chance to get a three-leg cushion on Chizzy. Who's uh, high up in the uh, Pro Tour rankings now. Lennon pins that for a 4-1 advantage. Chisnell won the Belgian Darts Open towards the back end of last year, which has really helped him in regards of his Pro Tour ranking. It means he doesn't have to go to the Euro Tour qualifiers. 100. He's automatically there as one of the top 16 floor players, if you like. This man has an abundance of qualities, but he hasn't always delivered. And if I was being really picky, it's just sometimes when he got down to them winning positions, he put himself in and couldn't get himself over the line. What you need in that one is to, it's just a little bit of confidence. And what I'm seeing right now in MIs is a man full of confidence and just listen to them darts going into the dartboard they're going in because the timing is absolutely perfect this is one of the the past couple of weeks is the best steve lennon i've seen for a long long time that is sam i agree there's a real sort of focus and intensity in his eyes only looking at the target very little body movement i mean you do plenty of coaching glenn I mean, you'd look at steve lennon's throw and, and say to someone try and copy that I think it's, I think, oh, do you know, absolutely perfect. This Chizzy looks at another treble and it's bull for a 164. What a dart, what a finish. There's the finger point. Just as we're waxing lyrical about Steve Lennon, Dave Chisel holds his hands up and says, Excuse me, what about me? Absolutely brutal. I mean, unfortunately for Chizzy, it might mean very little come what the end of this game. He's still behind by two legs and there was no reaction there from uh, Steve Lennon, who I'm convinced if he wasn't a dart player, he could become a professional poker player because his face doesn't change whatsoever. Still focusing intently on that treble 20, now the treble 19. But it's finishes like that 164 that can just plant seeds of doubt in the minds of the opponent. And Steve Lennon has just got to be careful not to try and get too embroiled into a battle with Jizzy. He'll use the 18s now. And just move over but what sign of a champion is when someone hits a 164 92. against you that with your darts you respond and respond he did with a 180 he wants 170 after nine he's in firm control of this leg and firm control of this it's match sad. this is a new steve lennon i'm seeing right now when he go for it Oh. Well, there's only two bigger checkouts than 164, and Steve Lennon nearly pinned one of them. And that's how good effort. he feels about himself. And so many times today, we've well, talked about this 25 finish. It's as if I'm on repeat. But these are the type of finishing that these guys practice. This type of finish will win and lose games. Game and shot. what a dart that is. And my concern about Steve Lennon is that when he gets himself in them positions, that double was not then being executed like he has here. He's playing lovely. Yeah, he certainly is, but that's lovely as well from Dave Chisnell. Five maximums in seven legs now. 100. Tons a decent response. few other results to bring you from 96. around the boards. Rob Cross, 6-1 over Louis Williams. Josh Rock has come through his second round game, beating John O'Shea, 6 legs to 3. So Lennon finds a maximum of his own now. Well, if you can live with Dave Chisnell in terms of 180 scoring, you're going to be winning plenty of darts five. matches. Chisnell opts to use the 15 to leave the big fish. Oh, that's unfortunate. Eight. Horror bounce out. Chisnell will need to go for this 170, though. Well, after a lovely first start, the second one was pretty wild. 122. Big ask for Lennon. Too big an ask. That would have just been the cherry on the cake. 65. But he'll still be feeling good. One thing you mustn't do right now is panic. 
And Chizzy still has to do this, Tops. And at 5 2 down, that's not as easy as you think. That's a good marker, but it needs to be hit. 28. And it's a chance for Lennon. And the way he feels right now, he's got to be feeling really good. So it's all about making sure you give yourself an opportunity. And that opportunity is Tops. 56. Well, double ten apiece. Chisnell has the first pop. That's a great marker. 15. And he pulls it inside and Steve Lennon now with match darts. Three at double ten. And a 6-2 win over Chisnell would be impressive sure, impressive it is steve lennon and dave chisnell exchange handshakes and that was a lovely performance from the irishman averaging 98 in a 6-2 win over dave chisnell as he advances into round three coming up now on this streaming board we've got daryl gurney the uh, super chain former grand prix and players championship finals winner he takes on Adam Warner, new talk out holder this year. Join us shortly for that one.